Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on HOCM, Hypertrophic Obstructive Cardiomyopathy Murmur. The murmur is a systolic ejection murmur heard loudest at the lower left sternal border that does not radiate to the carotids. As the name suggests, it is associated with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, often said to be with a gradient more than 30 mm of mercury. For its mechanism, Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an autosomal dominant condition that is associated with a number of gene mutations encoding for a variety of proteins in the cardiac sarcomere. The net result of the mutation is inappropriate hypertrophy of the myocardium. This hypertrophy may include the septum, and result in obstruction of the left ventricular outflow tract. The obstruction and murmur is significantly contributed to by systolic anterior motion of the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve. That is in systole, the anterior leaflet of mitral valve is dragged into the left ventricular outflow tract towards the septum, causing the obstruction of flow out of the left ventricle and turbulent flow. Systolic anterior motion of the anterior leaflet was once thought to be due to the already narrowed outflow tract, causing a pressure drop, and sucking the leaflet towards the septum and into the left ventricular outflow tract. Recent evidence indicates that this is not the predominant mechanism but drag directly pushes slightly abnormally sized and placed leaflets forwards into the outflow tract. Further abnormalities in the septum may direct abnormal flows towards the leaflets which catch and push them towards the septum. For the mechanism of dynamic maneuvers on outflow tract murmurs, outflow tract gradients which are seen in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathies are decreased by anything that decreases myocardial contractility, such as beta blockers decreased by anything that increases ventricular volume arterial pressure, such as squatting and hand grip exercises, increased by a decrease in arterial pressure or ventricular volume, such as in valsalva, nitrates, or dehydration, and increased by an increase in contractility. This picture shows the mechanism of hokum murmur change with beta blockers. The beta blockers slow down the heart rate and reduce heart contractility. The slower heart rate allows more filling into ventricle, the ventricle becomes wider and the mitral valve leaflet moves further away from the septum. There is less gradient, causing a softer murmur. Next, this picture shows how squatting affects the hokum murmur. When a person squats, there is increased venous return or preload, causing a wider ventricle and mitral valve leaflet is again further away from the septum, less gradient, and softer murmur is heard. Lastly, we look at the effect of standing on valsalva on hokum murmur. When doing Valsalva maneuver, there is increased intrathoracic pressure, reduced in preload, so the ventricle becomes narrower, and the septum is closer to mitral valve. The gradient becomes larger, causing a louder murmur to be heard. That's all for this video. Thank you.